All right, this is a short video on what it means to bring the Word of God, right? Now, bringing the Word of God is just all about being able to observe circumstances, situations, you know, really just mathematically speaking, the circumference that you're observing and being able to observe what form is going on within that circumstance, right? So when I talk about a form, I'm talking about a mental form. People create mental forms all the time with their mind, right? Where the mind is a creature that's walking on the earth with this physical flesh, but there's a sequence going on that causes that mind to play out certain traits, usually vices, low animalistic natures and stuff like that, right? So being able to bring the word of God is being able to observe what's going on within the circumference circumstance of a group of people, an individual, or let's say the world in general, and being able to create uh, an observation, a form yourself that can help and bind that or, you know, uh, unfuck somebody and shit like that. It's just basically, it's that simple. It's unfucking people's minds and shit like that, right? Where people's minds a lot of the times just be um, absent of truth, where the mind is too lost into a bias and shit like that. So whenever you get people following, following a figure like Muhammad or following a figure like Jesus, that's just, that's just an individual that's able to bring a word an observation that is complete and holistic this way they're not lost into some form of bias and stuff like that right so a lot of the times when these people are lost in a bias it's just an internal quality that they that maybe just getting uh, out of whack and stuff like that right where let's say for example a person that's constantly eating all the time or a person that's constantly jealous all the time a person that's con constantly envious all the time when you get into these concepts of you know the seven deadly sins in christianity christianity or catholicism you're just talking about a vice someone who's who's absorbed and is absorbing sorry not abs I, can, I can barely fucking talk someone sometimes someone who's just being within the form of a demonic fleshly fluid that's causing them to have a, a reaction and response that is not um that is just bias. It's someone that's really self-reflecting their state of being on other people. Usually someone that's incapable of doing something, something themselves, right? That's why Jesus w was a big threat back in the day, right? Or just any figure that was uh, able to observe the word of God, was able to observe what's going on within the uh, human mind. Because the human mind m most of the time is corrupt and it's not like truthful to itself or truthful to others. So when someone like, you know, someone that has a level of observation, that degree of that caliber of mind of understanding what they're going in and out of as a form of energy and stuff like that or as a form of a mind or the creature the mentality they keep recreating they know how to get out of that that might become a person that people dislike just based just being based based upon the sole facts of you know it's gonna make them uncomfortable with the fact that they have a mind like that because they're gonna be like wait what you think you're better than us it's like that type of mindset and shit right so it gets really weird and really interesting, but that's basically what it is, man. Bringing the word of God is about being able to observe the circumference of your reality, to the point that you're able to bring a word without a bias, a word that's holistic. And here's the thing, that word that you bring is gonna be based upon your own subjectivity that you're gonna turn into objective, right? So that word can be brought upon in the form of a picture. That word can be, uh, like you know how Christians back in, back in the day used to make like pictures of Jesus Christ and you know, the angels and stuff like that, blah, blah. That's, that's somebody bringing the word of God to a particular filter. That word can be brought upon the filter of, you know, uh, words as well, logic. So you have the Quran and, you know, uh, let's just say these hieroglyphics in Egypt or blah, blah, if you, if you subscribe to that and things like that, right? But all these things are just forms that are brought to you by a sponsor that was able to observe the holistic nature of the truth that is going on in front of them without necessarily catering to a bias, right? Because it requires you to be in a particular space of truth for you to, for you to even be able to do that, right? Because if, if let's just say Jesus Christ was catering to fucking demons, oh, oh, look, it's okay, guys, you know? It's okay to be demonic. It's okay to be animalistic, blah, 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 blah. Then he wouldn't be, he wouldn't be completing his mission. He would be allowing the humans, let's just say, to be able to, to cater to, just, just, well, what's, what's the word, man? Um, be okay with being in that type of mind. But when you're a person of a higher mind, I don't want to see, I don't want to say a higher mind, just a mind that is not cluttered by the thoughts and feelings, by the programming of this world. You can bring in observations that are, that eh, you can, I don't, I don't want to call it not of this world. What that statement really means is just, you know, creating a thought and a feeling that's not normally down here. So when you're in a space of awareness of clarity, of truth, of being holistic, you're not catering to no biases and shit, you're able to bring some type of word that doesn't have a bias, so you're able to help people with their mind. And here's the thing, this became like forms of mental training at some point, where now Muslims, let's say for example, are using the Quran to help them train their mind with these words that they be uh, 
you know, repeating via the Quran, right, as a medium of words and stuff like that. Because words can, because words can work as an affirmation as well. Words can help you train your mind and shit like that. But when you don't know where these words uh, come from and you can't create your own word and shit like that, then okay, it becomes a problem because now you're just stuck within one particular filter of how God can come to you. But you know, it's like just limiting yourself to reality because reality is right in front of you. God is right in front of you all the time. But it's up to an individual to be able to observe that. Now that truth is not just observable in the Quran. It's not just observable in the Bible. It's not just observable in the Talmud. You know, it's observable in the nature of reality right before you through everyday people, through, through the fucking trees, through the fucking sun, through the moon, through the clouds, whatever it is that you want to, you know, because these are just different forms that are within reality. And reality is a holistic thing, right? Where your space, for example, is a space made up of many different organs, made up of many different tissues, made up made up of many different densities of fleshly fluids. You know, blood, saliva, organs, and you know they all have different operations and functions. Just like we have that internal multidimensional reality within us, there's also this external multidimensional reality that you know uh, is made up of different things, made up of different existences and energies and shit like that. That you know. Uh, predicates the you know earth or you know the space of uh, the space of uh, the space that we are in and shit like that as you know human beings and shit like that right so yeah don't get lost into no type of biases and shit just because it does limit your own ability to observe and bring humanity closer together because whenever we get divided that's when you get the whole thing of you know muslims versus christian wars where you got religious people killing each other over a word that any man woman on earth can literally bring so it's like, instead of bringing us all together, y'all got us killing each other and y'all got us hurting each other. So, you know, in 2024, we got to step up and do better. But yeah, with that being said, man, that's just what it means to uh, bring the word of God and shit like that. And uh, yeah, peace out, everybody.